It is. So can I define it as a fraction? So, so a, a, a single, any, any point is also by itself a species with one of your E's or right there. Like E1, I mean like 1. means the S. That's one of the S is equal to 1. Is that it? I don't know. Yes, it is right. <laughs> OK. Um, so. I'm just trying to see how 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 removing one point can be written as some kind of an operation on a species. Well, I think at least in the setting in which with the species, the kind of species that you're looking at, I think we have a good idea of what this derivative does. Mm -hmm. At least yeah. intuitively, if right. not formally, maybe we should see what you do with the derivative. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Let that move on. Well, we will we'll see how, how how much we delay him. <laughs> <laughs> so well, it's sixty-eight. Well, but this is very short. Mm -hmm. So the next concept is the combinatorial differential uh, constant. If the derivative of k is zero, the k is the combinatorial of x differential of x. constant. Oh. Not of anything, but of this particular x here. Of that particular. Yeah, no. E1, E1. The X is E1. Oh, so the X is E1. Yeah. Okay. X is E1. See, K is oh, called a constant. Right. It's not X is called a constant. It's K right. is called a constant. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, I can't get my head around it. <laughs> no intuition. So, so there are many... No, K is a function. Right? Many nice constants. Yeah, yeah. The function is constant. Yeah, yeah. It's too different. Can by order depends on constants. For example, and the KB defined of this form 3 plus the x to 5. Oh, we have some differential algebra, we just... This is a combinatorial uh, differential constant, yeah, because so we take the derivative. Yeah. We have to go on theory on it. Then we can just put it on. <laughs> that's true. The, 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 three, the, the derivative of 3 is 0, of course, and the x to 5, the derivative of x to 5 is 5. Oh, because this is... This is true. Any derivative of x equal to n. Similar to in the analysis. You have given away the cut. Why would that be true? That would be true. And the derivative of c5 is. Uh, so so n n times x is is uh, the n copy disjoint copy of yeah yeah okay problem no I'm I'm talking about the coefficient n times n times that's the that's that's that that is joined with itself it's joined with n times and then the derivative of c is L of Once you have a bindings through these things all just follow, right? L of is equal to S2. It's hard to see how it follows from the definition. Well, I mean, you have Linux rule. So Linux rule will prove that. We'll give you that, by the way. Well, I'm not sure why you, why you get that from Linux rule. Oh, that's I think the Linux rule is fine. I think. It must be. I mean, yes. insofar as the derivation makes sense to let it Exactly, yes. <laughs> <Right. Yeah. laughs> but however, intuitively, I can't see it. Well, this is an example of a combinatorial differential constant. It's a lot of example, you know, this one. Mm. Yeah. K equal to x2. What's two and What's k? k? K is species. Okay, some species. So, okay, the species. We, yeah, so we what, want to give some. No, no, when, when, when you say when, for it's example. Sign. Yeah, when you say, for example, oh, k yeah. is. No, <coughs> no, when you say, for example, k equals kx, define as that. Yeah. What's the no, minus what's sign? That, what does that mean? Minus. Oh, what does minus well, mean? Yes, so you, you, 
here we don't have the minus of operator. Maybe we. But there's a minus five C five. <laughs> yes, we need to move this example to the forward. <laughs> so the but okay. the next example also Wait. has a minus. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, in the following, you, you, you introduce the minus operator. Maybe we will introduce the minus operator. We'll come soon. Okay. okay. okay we'll come a little bit early. A little bit early. What is this? I think ring can be expanded to a to a ring. I'm not that. And in this case, no, another just, candle. You just add the negatives. Yeah, what you need to? Yeah, that's true. Throw you throw just add them into your set. In the cloud, right? It's a cloud. How yeah. they call them become integers? Right? Yeah. <laughs> you just put it in. Yeah. So a question is to where's the picture? <laughs> can I can I can I do the combinatorial differential constant? So no, we we will introduce the minus uh, the minus operator. This is the virtual basis. Symmetric difference. Ah, formal difference. No, I can't symmetric. Also, as we introduce the, the integral operator, first. the integral. First. We also need the subtraction ah. of species. This is the cancel oh, virtual species. That's interesting. This is the situation yeah. is is similar to the case of yeah, okay, the so exactly what you said. Yeah. 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 Okay. Of natural number. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. You just yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you know, you have to go on forever before it really works, right? Usually. Yeah. So, uh, so if, if it is a finite thing, how does telescoping work? I mean, you have the end term that yeah. would be still there, right? Well, you, 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 you look at this uh, proof itself, right? So, uh, you, uh, so when you apply to a particular uh, species, Right. You only can only write you up to n. Right. Right. Yeah. So right. so, so right when you telescope, then you then when you telescope a finite thing, <coughs> theory, then then you have the beginning and the end, right? The middle terms cancel. Yeah. But you have the first term and you have the last term. Well, what happened to the last term? You are saying the last term is empty. empty? Yeah. The second line. They are all. Saying the last term is empty. But before the oh, term yeah, before the empty, <laughs> but the term before the empty yeah. set, where does it go? Um, yeah. So um, I guess ev eventually, right? Before you do even take a, uh, well, eventually, um, when you apply this term to to a uh, space or fixed space, it's a uh, it's uh, it becomes an uh, empty. Yes, it becomes empty plus empty, or empty yeah empty plus empty. Yeah, but then how does mm -hmm. telescoping work? It's in quotes. Well, no, no, it's not in quotes. I mean, you, no. you said <laughs> all the E1 and everything there cancels. So the, I think the issue is that for each I, mm -hmm. either both mm -hmm. E2 okay, phi squared and E2 phi squared, either they're both zero or they're mm -hmm. neither zero. Mm -hmm. And if they're neither Something zero, like then they're equal and they cancel. Yeah. And if they're both Most zero, fair. then I don't even have to think about mm -hmm. them. No. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. All right. You need some food. So, okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. So um, some more yeah, words so, needed. <laughs> um, well, another way to think about this is that when you have this uh, sum ability, you can take this infinite sum as the limit, as a limit of finite sums, you know, first n terms. Mm -hmm. Uh, even though upper finite steps is really become constant sequence. Yes. So you can then uh, uh, so you, you mean the last step? You mean this equation? Yeah, no, no, no. So we just talk about the convergence. Yeah. So well, I mean, just how the telescope right. cancel everything else except the first one. Yeah. When it's only finite in many. At one stage, yeah, at one stage, really, uh, it's going to be the take derivative either both term is zero, or yeah, yeah, one yeah, is yeah, zero, yeah, the other one yeah, is zero. Yeah. Right, so that's why, that's why you have to prove that. Yeah. That's, that's the point that you have to prove. Right, that's yeah. an interesting question, though. Yeah. Okay. This is the Joyo integral <laughs> operator. Oh my god. On virtual species, also, there are many other integrals on virtual oh, species. Uh -huh. Oh. You call J in the joy of And to introduce other kind of integrals, you need the concept of combinatorial defense of tau. Wow. Mm -hmm. My goodness. <laughs> so, what is a tau? A combinatorial defense of tau is a species such as that the sum of t is equal to t. Oh, no. <laughs> there are many. Many tolls, for example. For example, E is a is a tall. Because you have oh, this that E. You have this. That's amazing. <laughs> and the E actually is also a tall. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. And the every combinatorial differential tall can be Characteristic, but yeah. Well, that's the definition. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. No T sub. Wait, what what does T with the subscript mean here? Hmm? It's that definition. It says yeah, yeah. you write T as a. You mean you mean there exists T zero T one T n. Mm -hmm. so obviously it can be run. Oh no, oh, the, the, the thing the size of size n. Okay, yes, yes. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Size n. So this is the definition of tall, 
and the front tour we can give the okay. other kind of services. Mm -hmm. So you can go back. Here, here E is the tour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> e is the tour. So from the tour E we can give a integral. So we, we change the tour, we get the other integral. So any integral can be defined in this form. <laughs> Uh, defines a uh, combinatorial defines a constant uh, k plus j t of phi. J t of phi is defined in this form. What do you mean by every integral, j? No. All, all have, have, have you defined what an integral is? Yeah. You define the Joyo integral. Yes. But That's do you mean every Joyo integral? No. Every. Every integral. Every right, so what is, an, what is an integral? It means uh, something that does different. Right. The derivative that can fall okay. uh, the integral. Is okay. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you take uh, the tau t equal to e, this is the Joyo integral. J t is the size of the Joyo right. integral. Mm. The all mathematics are the same. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so this is all the integrals on virtual species. So, uh, okay. wow. this is our result. <laughs> our result is, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, it forms an integral differential algebra. So what is an integral differential algebra? An integral differential algebra commutative. Is a, K algebra, is a differential K algebra RD together with a linear operator pi satisfying the Selvin axiom and the hybrid daughter backs axiom. The hybrid daughter backs axiom is from analysis of the integral by parts formula, abstracted from integral by parts formula. And from the hybrid daughter backs axiom, you can get the daughter backs axiom. You just only need to let the x in the image of pi. Then dx is equal to x tilde. So the hybrid lot of x and becomes this one is equal to this one. This is the precise the lot of x. So for every integral differential algebra of weight lambda is a lot of x algebra. <coughs> And the hybrid lot of x axiom have many other equivalent forms. It is a equivalent, equivalent forms. And uh, we focus on the, the second and the third. Oh, yeah. We use the second one to prove all plant species equipped with the derivative and the integrals in the integral differential algebra. We use the third one to prove for linear. Linear species. So this is the definition. This is just the decode the definition of integrals. So our result is the virtual species with a derivative and any integral is a commutative integral differential z algebra to the ring of weight zero if and only for the combinatorial differential constant. In zero. This is our result. <clears throat> so, if it is a, the virtual species would be the derivative and the Joyo integral. The Joyo integral is take the t equal to e and the constant to zero, it is the Joyo integral. So it is a lot of x algebra. Uh, it is an integral differential z algebra. It is also a, a lot of x algebra. <coughs> so, so application of integral uh, differential algebra. So the integral differential algebra can be used to solve initial problems and the boundary problems. For example, 
this is the this is the initial problem. And we can use the integral differential algebra to give the green operator in this form. In this in this form, ui is just the, some, uh, some functions and a is the functions, a inverse is the functions, the functions here is the integral. We view this these functions as operators, function operators. This is the integral operator. So this is this is in the operator ring. This is the element in the operator ring. This is the green operator. And uh, another uh, uh, application is to uh, having the integral differential algebra as of virtual species, we can form the integral differential polynomials with the coefficient in S. This will give an exact algebraic meaning of nonlinear combinatorial differential equations. And for the integral differential polynomials, we can refer to this paper. In this paper, we will give an exact definition and give a basis of integral differential polynomials. A linear basis. <coughs> So this is the first part. The second part is about linear spaces. So linear spaces are much easier. The linear spaces are defined on totally ordered set. A totally ordered set is a set equivalent with a with a linear order. And uh, we denote by ML be the minimum minimum element in the total ordered set L. And then we use this notation L1 plus C dot LK to go to L means that if U1 to UK is a decomposition of U and LI is a distribution of L to UI. What do you mean by plus here? What do you mean by L1 plus L2? Uh, here, here is a disjoint union. I think uh, here it also means. Uh, but here is a linear order set. It's like disjoint union of linear order set. Okay, what do you mean by restriction of L2? Sub, subset, I mean, subset, I mean, it's just. Subset, I mean, he's referring to the orderings on that subset, right? I mean, they're, 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 oh, L is the set, not the linear one. Okay. Mm -hmm. L is an order set. Mm -hmm. So he's using order to represent the order set here. Mm -hmm. Well, an order is well, an order is a set, right? It's a relation. So you can talk about taking the sum of the union, basically the union, I think. It's not the strong union, I think. If, if L is an order set, so L is an order set, right? You said set, not the order, right? Is it the order or is it the set? L is a pair. L is a pair. L is a pair. Oh. Okay. So it's this. L is a pair. Order. So it's the okay. set with the order. So, so it's kind of so, uh, so in the equation, are you talking about the set or are you talking about the order? So it's the, it's the or order, both. order set. It's the order set. Order. So the set is this John union and the linear order is what? The but that's not enough. The that's set. not enough to be an order of L. L is just U is just well, a finite yeah. set. Oh, 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 okay. You're breaking it up. Okay, you're breaking it up. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, right, fine. You're breaking it up. Not, 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 not forming it. Okay. Yeah. 
decompose. Yeah, only decomposing. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So L is given. L is given. So in the in the plant species, we need a bijection sensor. No, in the the audit sensor, we need an inclusion function, inclusion bijection sensor. So the inclusion function f from L one to L two, the function preserve the orders. So a linear species f is a is a rule. From uh, for each for each finite totally ordered set L produce a, a finite set no weight no weight F L and uh, for each inclusion bijection produce a, a function it is indeed a bijection and uh, satisfy some properties so in category terms it is a function from From the category of totally ordered sets to find the sense category. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, there's some up. Uh, the operators can also be defined on linear species. The first one is the sum. It is similar to the prime species. Still. The second one is the product. The third one is the derivative. It is a little bit different. In the prime species, we add a, a star point here. We, we add an element lambda 1. 1 is the element out of L. And the, and uh, adding a new element, a new minimum element. So, so one is a minimum element in this set. So what, what's the plus with the subscript there? Hmm? The plus with the subscript O, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, what's that? So here means look. Oh, this, oh, this is where it is yeah. defined. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, all right. Do you take it out again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, integral you take out. Okay. So No, no, in the derivation. In the definite oh, derivation. The derivative, the derivative. I mean, is one virtual or not? Yeah. No, not a take out. Don't a take out. Yeah, you don't a take out. So the, the first one, the integral you take out the minimum element. Ah, oh, okay. That's right. So you can join this picture. This picture we, the minimum the minimum element of the total at the total set arrow is here. So so the minimum element of the L doesn't appear in the corresponding F structures. Quick question. Mm -hmm. um, some of us are hoping to go to a seminar at 12.30 and would like to have some lunch. Oh. However, uh, there is a time in the afternoon around 2 when one usually con when one often continues these discussions. So if you have a lot more yes. to tell... Indeed, my PPT can be ended better. in uh, one or two minutes. Oh, okay. 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 Oh. okay. okay. So this is, this is our result. The, the set of virtual linear species equivalent to the derivative and the integral. In the integral differential, the algebra operator. Is it one or two minutes? No, no, no. It's just because it's short. And uh, so it is also a lot of best algebra to you. Yeah, that's yeah, not finished. Oh, no, I just wanted to look at me. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, maybe we should save questions. Yeah, we should save questions for the meeting too. Great.